Kuiper Belt, that icy region beyond Neptune, holds a veritable universe of mysteries. Scientists are struggling to explain the mysterious objects in this region beyond Neptune. The mystery of the trans-Neptunian objects lies in their origin, the sheer number and the strangely elliptical orbits, which may even reveal the presence of another planet. Think of the Kuiper Belt as a cosmic treasure trove filled with ancient objects whose traces can be traced back to the beginnings of the solar system. The trans-Neptunian objects are possibly older than anything we can touch on Earth. These objects are made of rock, methane, and other volatile substances and have hardly changed for more than 4.5 billion years. Some astronomers believe that the objects were once distributed quite differently in the system and were hurled into their present orbits by violent movements of the gas giants Jupiter and Neptune. Since then, more than 100,000 objects have been orbiting the Sun in sometimes inexplicable and confusing orbits. It's pitch black in these areas. The light of the Sun barely reaches as far as Pluto. Behind the dwarf planet, it becomes increasingly lonely, darker, and colder. But why are scientists so interested in this frosty corner of the solar system? The answer lies in the ability of trans-Neptunian objects to reveal the history of the solar system. TNOs could provide clues as to how planets and solar systems form and evolve. And who knows, maybe one day the hunt for these objects will lead to the discovery of the mysterious Planet Nine. The Dark Energy Survey, Unexpected Discovery of TNOs. How can the search for dark energy reveal the presence of thousands of misshapen rocks and boulders? The Dark Energy Survey was an ambitious scientific project conducted between 2013 and 2019 to study the expansion of the universe and the true nature of dark energy. Using a state-of-the-art telescope in the Chilean Andes, the team collected data from hundreds of millions of galaxies to measure cosmic expansion. In the process, the researchers made surprising discoveries within our own solar system, the trans-Neptunian objects, in addition to their main goal. During the mapping of the sky, scientists discovered a total of 8,815 TNOs, 460 of which were completely new. The find was possible because the survey's camera was optimized for the darkness of distant galaxies and was thus able to detect faint objects in the outer regions of our solar system. These objects are typically located far beyond the orbit of Neptune and are often over 250 times farther from the Sun than the Earth. They orbit at such a great distance from the Sun that their orbital periods can be hundreds to thousands of years. Analyzing the recorded data not only made it possible to identify many new objects, but also to create a detailed map of the TNOs and the outer solar system regions. Surprisingly, the team found many more indications that we do not yet fully understand the structure and dynamics of the remote regions of the solar system. Initial analysis of these objects provided valuable clues as to how planets and smaller bodies were formed through gravitational interactions. Later, researcher Mike Brown used the data from the survey for his exciting search for the existence of Planet Nine. Six TNOs you didn't know were possible. The Kuiper Belt holds some of the most fascinating and bizarre objects in our solar system. Let's take a closer look at some of these extraordinary celestial bodies. One, Arakoth. Discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope in 2014, Arakoth, formerly known as Ultima Thule, is the most distant object ever probed by a space probe. NASA's New Horizons probe passed by Arakoth on January 1, 2019, providing these spectacular images. Arakoth consists of two connected bodies. This shape, which researchers call a contact binary, resembles a potato or a snowman. The two parts used to be called Ultima and Thule and have diameters of about 19.5 kilometers and 14.2 kilometers. Their surface is reddish, which indicates organic compounds that have probably been altered by radiation. The strangest object in the solar system is a so-called cold classical Kuiper Belt object, which means that its orbit has hardly been disturbed since the formation of the solar system. This makes Arakoth a window into the past for scientists, and as a time capsule-like relic, it provides unique insights into the early phases of planet formation. 2. Eris 
Dwarf planet Eris is one of the most fascinating objects in the solar system, not only because of its size and characteristics, but also because of the controversy it has sparked. With a diameter of about 2,326 kilometers, Eris is almost as large as Pluto. This discovery led to the re-evaluation of what should really be defined as a planet in 2005 and was instrumental in Pluto losing its planetary status the following year. Instead, Pluto and Eris were placed in the new category of dwarf planets. What makes Eris particularly unusual is its extremely elliptical orbit. It moves much further away from the Sun than Pluto, and its orbit is not only elongated, but also so inclined that it differs from most known planets and dwarf planets. Another extraordinary aspect of Eris is its surface composition. It's covered with a layer of frozen methane, which makes it shine brightly and reflectively in the sparse light. This makes it one of the brightest objects in the Kuiper Belt. Eris also has a moon called Dysnomia, which has helped scientists to more accurately study the dwarf planet's mass and other properties. Its extreme orbit, reflective surface, and role in the astronomical debate combine to make Eris one of the most unusual and interesting celestial bodies in our solar system. 3. Haumea The oval, almost rugby ball-like dwarf planet Haumea is another candidate for the most unusual objects in the Kuiper Belt. With a diameter of about 1,960 kilometers, Haumea is smaller than Pluto, but stands out due to its unusual shape and rotation. Its crazy shape is a result of its extremely fast rotation. With a rotation period of only about four hours, Haumea spins around its own axis faster than any other known large object in the solar system. Another feature of Haumea that makes it unique is its ring system. It's one of the few known ring systems in the solar system outside the gas giants, which makes it even more unique. Scientists suspect that the rings were formed by a collision in the past, which could also explain Haumea's rapid rotation. Haumea's surface is covered with water ice, which contributes to a high reflectivity and, of course, raises the exciting question of where the ice comes from. Research has shown that the water ice was created by collisions. Haumea itself is very misshapen and is accompanied by two even more crooked moons, Hiiaka and Namaka. The names of the curious trio come from Hawaiian mythology. Haumea is a fertility and earth goddess who represents creation, birth, and renewal. Her daughters, Hiaka and Namaka, embody the opposing forces of dance and healing, while Namaka, as the goddess of the sea, is in the eternal struggle with the goddess of fire, Pele. 4. Sedna With Sedna, we are looking at one of the most mysterious trans-Neptunian objects ever discovered. Discovered by a team of astronomers in 2003, Sedna has since fascinated scientists worldwide. It's in an incredibly distant orbit. Its closest point to the Sun is about 76 astronomical units, which is more than 11 billion kilometers from the Sun. But that's not all that's different about this object. At its farthest point, Sedna can be up to 937 astronomical units from the Sun, which means that an orbit takes an estimated 11,400 years. Sedna probably did not form in the Kuiper Belt, but rather probably migrated from a still unknown region beyond the solar system. The object could have been ejected from the so-called Oort Cloud. Some theory suggests that the process was triggered by a large object, which could be a gravitational interaction with a passing star, or the hypothetical Planet Nine. Sedna's surface, like that of many TNOs, is reddish, indicating the presence of organic substances. The so-called tholins could have been formed by chemical reactions under cosmic radiation. Wherever organic substances appear, researchers see traces of the origin of life. The TNOs could also be witnesses to the evolution of biological life forms like us. 5. Quarar Quarar was discovered in 2002 and, with a diameter of about 1,110 kilometers, is a candidate dwarf planet. This object has captured the attention of scientists because of the possible presence of water ice on its surface. Spectral analyses suggest that ice plays an important role in the composition of this TNO. We also have the mixture of reddish organic substances and water ice at Kwaawar. This means that two basic building blocks of life come together here in the darkness of the solar system. If the theory is correct that the objects were previously placed elsewhere in the solar system, 
They could have played a role in the origin of life that we do not yet understand. Another exciting detail is that this world is also accompanied by a small moon called Waywat. The moon was discovered in 2007 and has a very close orbit around Kwarawak. This rather intense moon-moon relationship is unusual and gives scientists important clues about the distribution of mass, orbit, and center of mass between two closely orbiting objects. In 2023, this TNO made headlines when astronomers discovered a ring system around it as well. This is particularly remarkable because the rings are strikingly far from the planet. The discovery is curious and raises many important questions about the formation and stability of planetary rings. More recently, missions have also discovered rings around Uranus and Neptune, and the rings of the gas giants, and the TNOs are still a mystery. 6. Orcus Orcus is often referred to as the anti-Pluto. Discovered in 2004, it has a similar orbit to Pluto, but moves in the opposite direction. With a diameter of about 910 kilometers, Orcus is one of the larger objects in the Kuiper Belt and one of the smaller dwarf planets. Orcus, which is somewhat misshapen anyway, also has a moon called Vanth. Vanth is so large compared to Orcus that the two could also be a small double planetary system. This close relationship between Orcus and Vanth is another mystery of the fascinating objects in the Kuiper Belt. Orcus also shows signs of water ice and possibly methane ice, which could make it a key to understanding the evolution of life. Planet 9, does it really exist? The TNOs show a peculiarity. The orbits of many of the objects are so strongly curved that they cluster locally. In the cosmic context, this actually indicates the presence of another large object. Calculations of the orbital peculiarities have shown that this object could be the mysterious ninth planet of the solar system. If the predictions are correct, this large, rocky planet orbits the Sun in a cycle of more than 10,000 years. When it next reaches its closest point to the Sun, it could finally become visible to our best telescopes. Subscribe now to the channel. The best videos are yet to come.